along the lines and we're about ready to go here on a Wednesday night with Wagner coming to center ice for the opening face off here against Brent Sutter. Mantles in their home white with the blue up on the shoulders, blue letters and numbers, red down the sides of that otherwise white sweater, blue pants and white helmets. Meanwhile, the Carolina Hurricanes affiliate decked out in all red with white letters and numbers, red pants, red helmets, red socks. Face off down, knocked by the Atwells into the Charlotte zone, and we are underway. Point drive, there's a save. Traffic in front of the net, the Atwells move it away. Jordan gets it back, another shot, deflection score. With only two seconds remaining in the period, Mikel Jordan's shot was deflected off a stick right in front of the net. Ricochet back behind Gibson, and the Checkers have taken the lead in the closing moments of the opening period. That might have been Chris Terry standing in front of the net. Jordan's shot from the left point was clearly directed. An obvious change of direction. Just a matter of whether it went off a checker stick or that of an admiral. But I think Chris Terry might be the guy that gets the goal. Puck is down. Period comes to an end. Face off down in the checker zone. The Anvils have it. Bottom of the ring. Deflected on goal by Freebird. Save made. Rebound back to him. Fires again for the tough angle and scores. Max Freeberg scores on his own rebound. Practically standing along the goal line to the right side of that fighter, John Hughes. Freeberg, the rookie out of Sweden, with his 14th of the year, anchors away, and the Admirals have tied the game at a goal apiece. There's the checkers blew a two on one opportunity back in the opening period on an offside call against Zach Boychuk, the former first round draft pick. The puck off the wall to the near ring with a shot on Gibson. It is in for a goal. I believe the checkers are celebrating. No signal from the referee. The red light did not go on back behind the net. The checkers are all celebrating. The play has been whistled dead, and now the officials are getting together to talk about it. Looked like Gibson had the puck against his body and then rolled off of him. John then lunged back. Of course, from my vantage point, John was between me and the puck. I reacted to the checkers celebrating as if they thought they clearly had a goal, but the referee did not make a signal. The red light did not come on from the goal judge. And now one of our referees going into the penalty timekeeper's booth to look at this on video replay. Again, no goal was signaled on the ice. And again, from my angle, I couldn't see. Turned around for Charlotte to the wall. Checkers gave one away, but rolled off Smith Pelly's stick. Now Sutter gives one away. Steckel grabs it, shoots, and scores! Dave Steckel converts off the turnover in the Charlotte zone. Steckel ties the game with his eighth goal of the year late here in the second period. with an unassisted goal at 16.55. Now the Anvils ahead, another steal. A shot and a goal by Steve Whitney. Charlotte, another turnover in their own zone. And Whitney makes them pay. The Anvils have taken their first lead. Tenth of the year for the Boston College rookie. And you kind of see why the checkers are 27th in the league in defense. They have just hung John Muse out to dry here twice in the last few moments, just giving away pucks in their own zone. First to Steckel, and now to Whitney. A little bit of a broken play coming in. 12th of the year for Sutter. A little spin move, as we said, from the edge of the near ring, and then squaring up and Ripping it behind Gibson on the stick side. Goal differential is actually a 
better on the road than at home. They're at plus three. The Admirals have Devontae smith Kelly from the right circle to shoot and score off the edge of the post and in with only a minute 58 to go. It's his team leading 23rd. It's his sixth of the year against Charlotte, and the Admirals are back in the lead. Smith Pelly, the edge of the circle, just cleanly beating Muse on the stick side. I'm sure that's one the Charlotte goaltender would like to have back. Right, uh, you know, but when they're clanking off the post like that, yeah. I mean, uh, that's that's just a good shot. Yeah. I, I'm just that amazed is. at how open Smith Pelly. Near the right point, leaping to hold it in is Chris Terry. Terry takes it down near the corner, centers in front, shot score to tie the game, but they have waved it off as a whistle had sounded with Zach Boychuk and Dave Steckel getting into a little altercation here on the right side boards, and that altercation costing Charlotte a possible game-tying goal. Shy gives it a high slot, knocked away and down ice, but Pelly grabs it. He'll Freely. race in for the empty netter and tuck it in for his second goal of the game. It's a three-wing night at Scope with five seconds to go. The Admirals lead five to three. There's the horn, it's a 5-3 Admiral win, Norfolk. Drawing with a point of the East Division lead. All hands on deck as the Admirals come out to congratulate victorious netfighter John Gimson. Norfolk on a night without so many of their big offensive guns, putting a five spot up on Charlotte and knocking off the checkers tonight, five to three. That's a, that's a big, big win.